Did you know that in 2021 alone, Americans spent over $200 billion on fast food? Did you also know that 80% of the American population visits a fast food restaurant at least twice a month? Are you shocked? Well, I am. This is the last one, I promise. A whopping 43% of Americans have fast food for lunch and 42.7% have it for dinner. According to the 2020-2025 Dietary Guidelines for Americans, more than 80% of American diets are low in vegetables, fruits, and dairy, and just 2.7% of Americans eat a balanced meal, are moderately active, and include fruits as between-meal snacks. This has resulted in a serious spike in childhood obesity, cardiovascular disease, diabetes, and other related diseases. These statistics serve as a warning to all those serious about healthy living. In this video, we'll be teaching you about the top 10 foods to fill you up and help you lose weight. Yes, there are foods that can do both. Number one on our list is oatmeal. There is a very good reason why oatmeal is number one on this list. Calm down and let me explain. Oatmeal is an energy and fiber rich food that can help you stay full the whole day. Yes, I said the whole day. If you work in a high stress, constantly moving environment, trust me and include oatmeal in your morning meal plan. Everyone is familiar with oatmeal, even though not everyone loves it. Oatmeal contains a soluble fiber called beta-glucan. The fiber promotes regular emptying of the bowel and reduces cholesterol. In other words, it prevents constipation. They're also rich in antioxidants called avananthramides. These antioxidants specifically reduce inflammation and relax arteries. They're also not present in any other cereals. One serving of oatmeal contains 166 calories. Number two on the list, eggs. Eggs are one of the most nutrient dense foods you can eat. And when eaten alone or with protein flatbread, they're very filling. A single large boiled egg contains vitamin A, vitamin B5, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin K, phosphorus, selenium, calcium, and zinc. Eggs also contain choline, which is used in building cell membranes and producing signaling molecules for the brain, as well as lutein and zeaxanthin, which are powerful antioxidants that build up the retina in the eye. Eggs are an excellent source of protein, the holy grail of bodybuilding. I recommend eating no more than one yolk per day. And for those trying to lose weight, three egg whites and one yolk with two slices of wheat bread make a filling breakfast. One full egg contains 75 calories and an egg yolk contains 52 calories. Number three, avocados. I know when you hear avocado, you start thinking about avocado spread on toasted bread or guacamole dip with homemade nachos. And you would almost be right, but avocado is so much more. There are very few nutrients that are not contained in avocados. In other words, this superfood is high in all types of vitamin B, except B12, as well as vitamin E, K, C, fiber, magnesium, phosphorus, manganese, and copper, to name a few. These round jewels are in a league of their own because they help prevent osteoporosis, arthritis, cancer, and inflammation. Avocados are also very filling. One medium-sized avocado makes an excellent lunch snack. Number four, tofu. Yes, the same tofu that's been the staple in Asian delicacies for the past 100 years. Tofu has that magical power you didn't realize you needed until you tried it. It's a low-cost, widely available, versatile, and protein-rich plant-based food. Tofu is a complete protein that is cholesterol-free and low in saturated fat, making it an excellent choice for a plant-based protein. Fresh or dried soybeans are used to make tofu. To make the liquid, the soybeans are soaked, boiled, and strained. To curdle or set the liquid, either calcium or magnesium is usually added, similar to how cottage cheese is curled from cow's milk. It's also a good source of iron, which is especially important for vegetarians and vegans, as well as pregnant women who may be deficient in this nutrient. Tofu is extremely filling due to its high water content. One serving of tofu contains 83 calories. Number five, broccoli. Eat your vegetables. You must have said that to your kids, wife, husband, or medical patient, or more often than not, it's been said to you. When it comes to filling you up and keeping you that way, not many vegetables come close to broccoli. And no, I am not broccoli biased. It definitely is one of the most nutritious vegetables. Broccoli also contains compounds of isothiocyanates, 
They affect liver enzymes, reduce oxidative stress, decrease inflammation, stimulate your immune system, and combat the development and growth of cancer. Broccoli is also rich in vitamin C, vitamin K1, folate, vitamin B9, potassium, magnesium, iron, and oh yeah, it's very filling. One cup of fresh broccoli contains 34 calories. Number six, sweet potato. I'm not even gonna try to hide my love for sweet potatoes. Where do I even start? They're a wonderful source of carbohydrates and promote gut health. They can be cooked, grilled, or baked, and each version of cooking delivers a mind-bending sweetness and accompanying fullness. Sweet potatoes contain all the macronutrients. Macronutrients are the three main classes of food that you consume the most. That is carbohydrates, proteins, and fats. Sweet potatoes are known to have antioxidant and anti-inflammatory properties and also help in blood sugar regulation. Rich in vitamin A and anthocyanin, which have been shown to reduce the chances of getting cancer. Sweet potatoes also improve insulin sensitivity. A medium-sized potato contains 110 calories. Number seven is soursop. Now, this is not exactly a popular fruit, nor does it look good when it comes to appearance, with all the spikes poking out of it. But I believe the phrase, never judge a book by its cover, stands true when it comes to this fruit called soursop. The edible parts of this fruit are the pulpy, fleshy, creamy, white interior, which is immensely rich in fiber, and the leaves, which are used in making tea, which also has some medicinal benefits. Soursop comes in different sizes. An adult would find it a bit challenging to fully consume a medium-sized soursop fruit. And from personal experience, you won't feel hungry anytime soon. This fruit contains proteins, carbohydrates, fiber, vitamin C, potassium, magnesium, and thymine. Some of the health benefits attributed to taking soursop include its ability to help kill cancer cells, not studied in humans, only animals, help with weight loss, and help regulate blood sugar. One medium-sized soursop contains 149 calories. Number eight, quinoa. It's a nutrient-dense, gluten-free, whole carbohydrate food that's high in fiber and protein, and it can help you feel full and satisfied. Quinoa comes in over 120 varieties, but the most common are the white, red, and the black ones, and they all have different tastes. Talk about multiple choices. A study by the Harvard Public School of Health stated that eating a bowl of quinoa daily may reduce the chances of early death from cancer, heart disease, respiratory ailments, diabetes, and other chronic diseases by 17%. Quinoa is a seed that acts like a grain when boiled. This means that it just softens. If you're suffering from celiac disease, a disease that affects the body's ability to process gluten, then quinoa should be a mandatory dietary staple. You can include quinoa in almost all types of eating plans, like a gluten-free diet, a vegan diet, a vegetarian diet, a keto high-fiber diet, a high-protein diet, and others. One cup of cooked quinoa contains 224 calories. Number nine, lentils. They're high in fiber, protein, and other important nutrients that can help you feel full and satisfied, making them a great option for weight loss. You've probably heard of the word lentils a few times and even consumed it, but do you really know the definition? Lentils are a type of plant called a legume. Other plants categorized as legumes include beans, chickpeas, green peas, snow peas, and many more. Lentils have been shown in human studies to improve cholesterol levels in diabetics and to protect women from breast cancer. Lentils come in a variety of colors, including green, brown, black, red, yellow, and orange lentils. Lentils are also rich in potassium, folic acid, magnesium, calcium, and selenium. Because of their high concentration of folate, eating lentils is beneficial for pregnant women. Folate is critical in preventing neural tube defects in babies. Neural tube defects occur when the neural tube of the baby in the womb does not close, thus leading to defects like anencephaly, a brain defect, and spina bifida, a spinal defect. Now you see why you should include lentils in your diet. Number 10, salmon. Salmon is a good alternative source of animal protein that is rich in vitamins A and D, phosphorus, and iodine. Did you know that fish oils found in fatty fish, salmon, tuna, and mackerel are the richest source of this type of fat, which is vital to normal brain development in infants and unborn babies? Fish is a particularly good choice for the diet of a pregnant or lactating woman. And my oh my, you definitely get filled up from eating salmon. A serving of salmon, three to four ounces, contains approximately 200 calories. It has a low saturated fat content and is high in protein. It's also a good source of vitamin B12 and vitamin D. It's high in potassium and iron. 
Salmon also contains a high concentration of selenium, an essential nutrient involved in DNA synthesis, thyroid hormone metabolism, and reproductive health. It's also high in omega-3 fatty acids, a type of heart-healthy fat that can reduce inflammation and improve brain health. 100 grams of farm salmon contains 41% of the recommended daily protein intake and at least 20% of the recommended daily intake of vitamins B3, B5, B6, B12, D, E, and K. But try to find and consume wild salmon. Start eating salmon today. If you can't afford it, you can try tuna or mackerel. Some things that these foods have in common are their high fiber content and also high protein content. Of course, there are many more foods available for weight loss, but these are the top tier. Do you have any foods or even a healthy family recipe that keeps you full and helps you lose weight? You can share it with us in the comment section. And don't forget to like, comment, and share, and follow us for more educative and informative videos.